So I want to introduce you to what I think is the absolute most important PowerShell command let to know, and that is simply get help. So let's look at the get help command let here real quick, and then we'll apply get help by getting help as to another command let. Okay, so if we go to get help, you can see we get some information here as it pertains to the command let. So you can see all this information and we can read through this. I mean, technically, if you're willing to invest the time and, and if you're a kinesthetic learner and you want to be on the keyboard, learning PowerShell through Get Help is actually a great way to learn it because you're learning as you're doing, okay? So if you notice here, Get Help is a commandlet. It is the PowerShell help system. And this is where you're going to find all the information. There are so many commands that you just can't remember them all. I guarantee you'll remember the ones that you use on a regular, almost daily basis. And the rest of the time, you're going to have to go out to get help to find information on a command. So we're going to go ahead and run get help on the get process command and see what we get. So with get process, as you can see, we're gonna get a little bit of base information. Now, the reason I say a little bit is notice as I start scrolling from the get help, get process, I'm just getting a little bit of information. Now I can run that same command, okay, with the detailed. And now you'll see that I get even more information. Okay, so now I'm getting even more information on detailed and there's one more that we can do and that is to run full. Okay, and that's going to give us the full help system for the get process command. Now, most of the time what I find is if you, once you learn the syntax, you don't tend to need a lot of this. You might need to see the syntax, but a lot of times all I'm looking for is examples of running, in this case, the get process command let. So we can do that. And now you can see that I'm getting examples. You know, I get nine examples. This is the last one, use an automatic variable to get what I want. So understanding this is how you do this. Now, the last thing I sort of want to show you here is let's say I don't know. I just know that the word process is in the commandlet that I want to get a help file for. I can go ahead and use wildcards in front and behind, and I'm going to get all of the commandlets, as you can see, commandlets and functions. Okay, let's not forget functions that contain the word process. So now I could go ahead and run get help on wait process and figure out what it does. Now, sometimes you want to be outside of this environment. Okay, uh, doing things. So what we can do is actually bring up the online version of the help. And I'll, I'll need to run this window over here and resize it. So give me just a minute here. But this, da, 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 da. let me pause while I do. So this is in fact the online version of the help system for get process. Okay. So we can do that, or we can also do this in a window, show window. And by showing window, we get this window here that becomes a searchable aspect of the help file, in this case for get process or the help system for get process that we can search. So easy way to search, you know, search a keyword, find it within this, you've got settings that you can do, etc. So finally, before we leave this, I'm going to bring back up get help, just the get help of the help system, and show you a few things. Now, first of all, notice that you can run get help, okay, with save help, and it's going to download help files from the internet, save them to a local file store. So if you have a lot of disk space, you know that you can do this. You can update help, which is always a good idea to, to do, and then just some am, um, examples uh, as given. You know, so get process, which is the one we just did. 
I hope this helps. Let me know if y'all have questions. Have a great day in PowerShell.